It is six minutes past the hour. It's not just your coworkers who don't want you coming to work when you don't feel good. The president is pushing for paid time off for sick leave as well. Now, if you do have you know, sick days at work that you're paid for, count yourself among the lucky. Yeah. Many Americans do not. Many, 40% of working Americans don't have these. And that's in general, middle class Americans, no sick days at all. Very difficult too, if you've got a family to take care of as well. The White House is asking Congress to pass the Healthy Families Act. That would let you earn up to seven sick pay days a year. Now, this is tens of millions of people. There's not one other advanced country that has this policy that we have, or no policy, right. I should say, where there aren't any sick days. And it also becomes a public health issue. The White House is saying it's... That is different, but I see the point. All right. Snoop Dogg is a grandfather. That's trending on The Daily Share this morning. His 20-year-old son, Corday, fathered a baby boy. And on Instagram, Snoop said, you have a lot of love waiting for you, grandson. So an asteroid, the third of a mile wide, is coming closer to Earth than any other asteroid that large has. Oh, great. NASA says it'll be like 745,000 miles away, give or take, on January 26th. But they also know that if you have a good set of binoculars, you could probably spot it. Shaving a haircut right there. <laughs> you are soon going to be able to stumble over to your refrigerator in the morning, open it up, you know, what's for breakfast, and get your coffee. <laughs> you know, the grocery store is going to take a bigger chunk out of your wallet this year because some of the foods are getting more expensive. But, okay, there's always, <laughs> there's always a big line of why is that more expensive? Because what that person right. eats is more expensive than what that animal eats is more expensive. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning, yeah. So beef prices were up this year about a dollar a pound. I'm sure you noticed that one. Partly because what they eat got a little bit more expensive. Even things like alfalfa, that's fresh produce. Fresh produce got more expensive, too, because of that record drought in California. So, just recycle. Mm -hmm. Talk about recycling. This is very creative. Southwest Airlines redid all of their airline cabins, including the seats, those leather seats. What do you do with 43 leather? leather. Mm -hmm. Did they disinfect it? I am sure. I'm just thinking I'm of sure. all those people who sat on it. <laughs> It's a good idea, though. The guys from um, Big and Rich don't just post their favorite pictures on Twitter. They also turn to the fans on Twitter for help in making a lot of decisions. I follow you both on Twitter. I know that you do your own tweeting. I don't know that you do. Yeah. No. Do you yeah, really? I do my, own, do my own tweeting. I've been using it to show pictures of my oh, puppies. Oh, you have German yeah. Shepherds. Yeah. Oh, You're that's right. nice. German that's Shepherds. So raised, so sweet. Born and raised mm. right there in our home in Nashville, Aww. Tennessee, right? They're she, beautiful. You can look them right in the eye. Do I they love speak it. German? They're awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. They speak German? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seats. <laughs> yeah. Seats. Plops and blive, baby. Yes, I know. Uh, yeah. I've had German yeah. Shepherds. Yeah. I know you um, actually asked people fashion advice. Sometimes I do. Yeah, yeah. I, like I asked about, you know, should I wear a fur coat or That's not exactly wear a fur what coat I'm about. for the Liberty Bowl? That's exactly and what I'm you would be about. surprised the comments. I mean, it was passionate on both sides, but it is nice to hear people's opinions. One time I had some leftover ribeye in my refrigerator. It was in there for like two weeks, but it's a ribeye, bone in. They and I'm going, God, I can't, I cannot bring myself to throw this away. And I thought, should I feed it to my bulldog or not? So I said, hey, what do you think? The ribeye's been in there for two weeks. Should what I feed it to the bulldog? Yeah, it went, it started trending, oh, number no. one. And everybody weighing in. And so at the end of the day, I said, okay, I think it's okay to feed to Frank. And Frank's fine. Yeah, and part of the reason it was trending is because people were like, what? Um, it's not good enough for you. It's two weeks old, but it's okay to feed the dog. And he said, yeah, that's part of the reason why it was trending. But he said he did slice off a little piece for himself, and he's fine, and Frank's fine. All right. So if you follow Big and Rich and their dogs, <laughs> John is at John Rich. Big Kenny is at Big Kenny TV from the country duo Big and Rich. You know, divers have found and photo found a message to a girl's late father, was able to use social media to find them. Now, what I like about you two, among many things, is you're football fans. That's right. You know yeah. the football. Yeah. We, we see you perform. Well, we've been before. doing college game day yeah. football for eight seasons now. So come into your city Today. every Saturday morning for eight seasons of college football. So uh, you know that I'm biased for Ohio State, but what do you think as... You're not biased. Both of you are not biased toward any team because your True. team's not here. Uh, I think Cowboy Troy said it best. He says it's a David and Goliath moment. And, um, you know, most of all, we hope it's a good game. I was going to say, do you like David or Goliath? Well, I think Goliath's going to win. Wow. The, the wow. numbers, the numbers, 
are in favor of it. But, but that, yeah. being, that being yeah. said, when you saw Ohio State beat Alabama, wow. so, you know, Oregon's probably the fastest guys out there. Yeah. That Heisman level of Trophy. speed. Yeah, Heisman, Heisman Trophy. Uh, Heisman winning. How fast uh, they call those offensive plays is something else. So, Heisman winning quarterback against know. a third string quarterback? I think or? Oregon's got the it's edge, tough. but, I mean, you just never know. <laughs> Look who's here, Robin, and the, you never know who's on the bus. Oh Cowboy Troy's back there. It's Troy, Cowboy come on, Troy. Troy. Come, on. come on up. Like Give us your vast knowledge of what you think about this game, because you have some pretty serious insight. Well, I think it's going to be interesting in the sense that you've got the high-speed, high-power offense of Oregon, and then you've got the take the air out of the ball, smash mouth, ground and pound of Ohio State. Who do you want? Robin, it Robin, there's no doubt. There's yeah. no doubt. I mean, Everyone I wants Ohio State. That do, Anyone that feels your that. presence, I've got to say, I want to see the underdog come and take the game. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 o